Hey everyone, M Tash here with a very beautiful, very sexy AMA that I'm doing for you guys. So I'm gonna read some of your questions, some of your comments, and um, before I begin, I just wanna say a few things. No, I cannot accept your friend request. I got so many questions saying, can you add me as a friend? Why? Why? What do you gain out of that? I mean, yes, I'd be on your friends list, but it's a very good chance we're not gonna play because I'm so frickin' busy, okay? I, I don't even have time to play the game for myself, unfortunately. Um, I have 1,700 requests for friends, and if I add you, then I have to add everyone. It isn't fair. The other one is, can you watch my montage or my video or break it down? No, I can't, because it's not fair if I watch yours and not everyone else's. And if I start watching yours, I have to watch everyone else's because I'm Canadian and I'll feel bad. Okay, you know, I, I really wish I could help. I wish I could watch, but it's just there's so many requests at this point. I can't, I can't keep up, and uh, I don't want to be unfair to everyone else. Now, the other thing is, can you help me with trials? No, I can't, because <laughs> then I wouldn't be able to help the other 150,000 people. There's just, it's very difficult, and for the most part, with Trials Carries, the only people, you know, I, I help are people that subscribe to me, are in my Twitch chat constantly, or, or people that I've seen that have commented on my videos for years and years, and they say, like, Mike, I need your help. I try to get through. I do hundreds and hundreds of runs, you know, every month. You know, every weekend I, I probably do 10 to 15 runs with different people and I try to get everyone through, but it's very tough to keep up. So I'm sorry if I don't get to you. But let's get into things. Let's see some positive stuff. So we got one here saying, I just wanted to say thank you. When I'm stressed, sad, happy, or bored, you brighten my day. You and Hovi especially. Hovi! <laughs> because in a way, you two are gods and above average players like me. You know, just continued nice stuff couple things I wanted to say on that is I'm not a god I'm not a god I'm just a guy that put in a lot of effort I play this game more than I should and you know words like that really do mean a lot to me I, I thank you so much and for anyone out there that is stressed or bored or or unhappy I'm glad I can be someone that makes you happy or changes your your day and makes it a little bit better I've got some people saying you know I've checked out your crucible school videos and I really like them they've helped me I've improved that's what I love to see, guys. That's the goal. <laughs> I want you guys to be improving. That's that's really cool. Let's go through here. Let's see if we can find any any cool questions. There's lots that just say like, hey, I, I subscribed. I like your videos. Lots of, hey, I like to go flawless. Here's one from Cryptic. Cryptic said, you know, how do you feel about players that go 2.0 on a Blade Dancer, but when you take Quick Draw and Blink Away, they suck. You know, they don't know how to play. Um, there's lots of people that are very good on a particular class just because they're used to it. And... If you take it away from them, they're going to struggle. I mean, even myself, I have to readjust every time I switch to a new class. So, I, I understand where they're coming from, but that's just a thing. Like, the more you play and the more you play with different classes, the better, better you'll do. Are you in KJ Hovey's videos? No, he's in mine, bitch. <laughs> Hound Shark. Uh, yes, we're in each other's videos here and there. Hey, Killer6. Real Killer6 is actually another YouTuber. Good guy. Really good guy. What does it take to get a coaching session from you? Uh, you have to donate a party hat in RuneScape and $300, and I will coach the shit out of you. Just kidding. I, I, I will. Uh, mind if we chat? I get. Uh, I want some idea, or I have some ideas and topics to talk to you about for Crucible School. I would appreciate that, but um, you know, just post it on a video. I read all my comments. Going into a you know a, a vocal discussion is um, is is gonna you know not not be worth it. You are a legend and epic at PvP. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys are pumping my tires here. You guys are making me feel good. Again, lots of flawless runs. I follow you on YouTube. You're freaking hilarious. Well, thank you so much. I would love to run some Destiny with you sometime. Come to the chat. I might pull you in uh, during a, a stream here and there. It's really hard to, to play with each each person. Um, I've also got, you know, lots of requests. Hey, do you want some new channel art? Yeah, you know... I, 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 I know my channel art isn't the best. My thumbnails are pretty shitty, but it's really hard to coordinate with uh, people that make thumbnails, unfortunately. And um, I'm not going to be able to, you know, really give you video ideas or topics in advance a lot of the time, so I don't I don't want to contract anyone for that. But I think I, li I like my logo. I like my banner. It's, it's really chill. Um, yeah, again, do you want to play with me? Of course, I want to play with you. It's just I can't. I don't have time. Yes, I am from Planet Destiny, Matteo VD. Coca-Cola? Good man. Coca-Cola, whale, way, way better than Pepsi. Uh, let's see, we need to find some really good ones here. We'll cut this out until we find a really good one. 
Here's one from Obese AMA. Your videos have helped me out a ton, but you have slowed down slash stopped with Crucible School and gameplay critiques. Are you going to be coming back to those? I just did one today. Um, I have slowed down a bit just because, uh, A, I really like making, like, or trying to make funny stuff. I, that's what I really want to do. Pretty much 50% on the channel. But uh, the other thing too is there's just not a lot to talk about on Crucible School or like really amazing gameplays I want to break down right now. I understand you want to do better in PvP, but I've been doing so much of them for the past, you know, nine months that I really need to just do what I feel like doing so that I don't go insane at this point. So there will be stuff. I want to keep teaching you guys, but I do have to kind of vary up the content so that I have fun. We got another one saying, uh, I could ask you anything. I want to take your take on fusion rifles. I know you're a sniper man, but do I ever use fusions? I don't use them because they're not good. Like they're just, they're just not strong. There's pretty like fun ones to use. Plan C is pretty decent, but for the most part, they're just so weak and charge times aren't competitive. So I don't really use them. And I love sniping. I, I love the feeling of sniping. So using a fusion rifle isn't, you know, worth it for me. JMD said, uh, I was wondering, what legendary primary and perks do you use when you go try hard? Also, what is your favorite loadout? Um, if I had to pick, I was going super try hard, I'd have my Supremacy Sniper because that thing is OP. For rockets, I, it doesn't really matter. Ash Factory, who knows? But for a primary weapon, um, I would definitely say, especially because you said a legendary weapon, I would say one of the pulse rifles just because they, they are pretty damn good. I think I've got a Suros PDX that's really strong. Hawksaw is pretty good. And uh, I'm, not a, I'm just so tired of using hand cannons that I like to use pulses. They are really strong. And I'm, I'm tired of scout rifles as well. So yeah, that's what I do. George Washington, I, I've actually seen you in the comments multiple times. Um, thanks for stick, you know, sticking around. He says, you're an amazing player, cool guy, but I don't like Destiny anymore, but he still sticks around, so that's really cool. And there are a few of you that still stick around even though you don't really like Destiny anymore. And uh, is Destiny headed in the wrong direction? There are some things they need to fix. They need new content. Holy shit, they need new content. And things like SRL is definitely fun, but that has to be on the side. They need to focus on big PvE increases, raids, things like that to get people going. They need to fix some of the armor systems and light levels and RNG. Um, and they need to fix PvP. Holy fuck, there are so many issues with PvP. I can't even get, get started on it. But yeah, I agree with you, George. There are some things going wrong. They need to fix it. But... It's gonna take time. It's gonna take time, and it might not be until Destiny 2, unfortunately. This one's pretty funny. Not so hasty says, you can have my name in the video if you want, but on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst, how good are you at Destiny PvP? Okay, so this one is a tough question because if you ask me at any time, you know, are you better than Real Crafty? Are you better than KJ Hovey? Are you better than Sir Demetrius? Any of those players, I'll always say no because I recognize I have a lot of issues in this game. I push way too aggressively. I am not consistent. I am not the best player. So right there, I am not a 10 out of 10 player. Even though I might make some crazy snipes that you don't care, or you don't think what you could ever make, or you know, I make a really nice outplay in trials, I don't do it all the time. I fail just as much and I lose games for people in trials. So honestly, if I had to give like a consistency rating saying, you know, like how good are you compared to the general population? Uh, you know, and the best players and all that, I would say honestly like a 7 or an 8. I recognize obviously I can outplay a lot of people, but there are some people that are way better than me. Way, way, way better than me. Consistently better than me. And uh, I'm not going to ever say that I'm the best player because it just isn't true. So thanks for the question, dude. Slash says, how did you get so good at sniping? Like when to pop out and things like that. Honestly, it's just practice. I've been sniping since I was 15 years old. Like I've had like nine years of sniping. Okay, I played a ton of Halo. Um, that really did help me, not gonna lie. Halo sniping is sort of similar to Destiny. I don't know. I, I really liked sniping in Halo. That was what I always did. I was the guy on the team that would always go for the sniper and hold it down. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just practice. I've done it from the start in the beta with Destiny and I've always stuck with it. And unless you play excessively with one gun, you won't get better with it. Like if you keep switching from shotgun to fusion to sniper, you're never gonna get you know, quality at any of them. So keep practicing and you guys can snipe just like I can. It's, it's very, uh, very much just getting used to the gun and getting used to when to actually be using it and all that stuff. Hawkback said, do you ever have problems with combat rating? You know, I always get goonies on my team and always try hard sweaties on the enemy team. So um, the better you are, it kind of, I from what I'm seeing is it like actually kind of messes up the, the whole 
gameplay system. So if you're like insanely good at this game, have really good stats, you win a lot, uh, it seems to put you with weaker players. And I, I'm not just saying that, I'm, I've played hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours and you know, thousands of PvP games and my teammates are horrendous a lot of the time. They go negative 95% of the time when I play solo. And uh, I think it's to balance out the, the teams, but it, it's never fair. The enemy team is always, for the most part, way better and I, I have to carry. That's why I don't like PvP right now. It isn't very fun. So yeah, there's there's definitely some issues uh, in balancing. I highly suggest if you're going to play some PvP, go in with team, play some skirmish. But um, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's definitely messed up, dude. <laughs> Jazzy five hundred or five thousand says, "Hey, I'm Tash. I just want to say thanks for the amazing videos. I only have one complaint. Where the hell is a Christmas CD? I can't find it on iTunes." <laughs> Do you know what? Maybe when I have the funds, I'll go to a recording studio and I'll actually make a Christmas CD for everyone because I think that would be pretty funny. But uh, until I have the funds, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. This one is asking, uh, I saw in a video posted, I just want to ask if you're still going to school. I am. I'm going to, uh, in my last year, after this semester, I have one more year of my Bachelor of Commerce. I'm majoring in marketing. And then who knows? We'll see. X Swoop has asked, all right, so he said, is being a father everything you expect it to be? So that's the, that's the first question. So um, I was scared shitless when I found out I was going to be a father. It happened in grade 12 that I found out I was about to be a dad. And um, I was terrified, and I thought it was going to be so hard and really rough, and I didn't know what to do. And uh, it wasn't. It was very easy. It was very easy. I had a lot of support from my fam uh, you know, family. I'm not talking about them giving me money, just moral support. I've grinded. I've paid for my son. I, you know, I've... I've put in the, the time and effort to become a good dad. I've changed diapers and, you know, had to scold him and I've cheered him up when he's sad and I've motivated him to be whatever he wants to be. And being a dad is something you definitely have to learn. And is it everything you expected? No. I was terrified. I was scared. And I didn't want to do it to an extent. And now that I have, it's changed my life. I love it. I, I would never not want to be a dad. So if you guys are ever worried or, you know, like, should I have a family? Oh my God. Have a family, because it's one of the most rewarding things you'll ever do. Dat 8 bid flow. Hey dude, I did I did we do a trials run together? I think we did, and I'm not sure if we failed. If we failed, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I remember your name. He asks me, he asses me. Ass. Why did you start YouTube? I started YouTube because I wanted to be a comedy channel. I wanted to make people laugh. I wanted to make people um, I wanted to make people's days a little bit better. I recognized, obviously, because everyone who makes a YouTube video wishes they could make money off of it, but I never thought, like, it would happen. Really? Like, I knew it could happen, and I wanted to be famous, but I honestly started it just to have fun. I made some funny videos for family and friends, and, um, I, you know, I started making Destiny videos because I just wanted to help people. Like, I had a, a Crota guide on, like, how to go invis and kill me easy with the sword. I got, like, 40,000 views, and uh, I was like, yeah, cool, whatever. Like, I helped them, but I never really cared about being big. Until, you know, this summer when I started playing PvP a bunch and people saw some of my videos, it's like, holy shit, you're really good. And I was like, hey, maybe I could, maybe I could teach people to do a little bit better. And then I really started to say like, hey, I want to help people. I want to, you know, grow this thing. And now that I have started growing and making some money, like, yeah, this, uh, if this could be a fucking career, are you kidding me, boys? That would be the coolest thing ever. But I have a lot of things to focus on. I've got school, I've got a family, and those always come first. But I think we're doing all right. We're, you know, we're growing, we're succeeding. And uh, the fact that there's 57,000 of you is mind boggling. It's so cool. Thanks for being around. And you know, 8-Bit, thanks for the question, dude. Hova Beans, uh, do you plan on doing sweaties more? And do you plan on making more skits? Sweaties, yeah, I do. I usually don't have a lot of time to play Destiny. Um, I'm actually impressed with how much content I get out, considering the amount of time I'm actually able to play this game. Um, and with Sweaties, I want to play them. You know, I wish I would have entered that tournament the other day. I just haven't had time and teammates and all that, but I will definitely play more Sweaties in the future, but I usually play with some of the T1, like, guys that are in it all the time. Like, I play with Luminosity and Anbu and those guys because A, it's super competitive, and B, I have always had a fun time playing with them. Like when I played with Nkooch and Frostbolt, all those guys, we always have a really good, fun, friendly time and I don't have to deal with people calling me a cunt and a nigga and, and being rude constantly. Like 
I've been in a couple lobbies where people are doing sweaties and they're so annoying and rude and vulgar and racist and I cannot do it. I just can't do it. So the only time I play is with people I know, guaranteed, bingo, bango, bongo, it's gonna be fun. So, yeah. <laughs> As for doing more skits, I will down the road, probably not for like another year or two when I have the funds to get like a really high quality mic and camera and even maybe someone to help me film it because if I'm going to do skits, I want them to be really well done, quality, funny, and right now I don't have the means to do it. Slayer Gramps, actually Slayer Gramps is a, a friend from a while ago, like he actually, uh, he messaged me on Reddit a long time ago. Um, so Slayer says, what's your middle name? My middle name is Eddie. E-D-D-Y, Eddie. Uh, I have a grandpa, Ed, but we call him Grandpa Eddie. And my parents named me grandpa, or, or after my grandpa Eddie. And actually my grandma, back in the day, she's like, Eddie's not even a name, it's a nickname, you can't do that. And my parents are like, ah, fuck it, we're doing it. <laughs> it's Michael Eddie Tash, it's happening. Also, unrelated note, my girlfriend and I were planning on a trip into the, um, uh, to Calgary in a couple months. It'd be weird if we drove a bit further and my grandpa would be with you. Um, Slayer, dude. If you come to Edmonton, like I've, I've actually met up with a few people in Edmonton here, as long as it's not out of the way, if you can make it to Edmonton and, and you know, plan a night and you're not going to murder me, I'd be down for a beer, for sure, for sure. I really want to do some meetups down the road, whether it be at like an E3 or, or things like that, a hundred thousand special party, but I understand that it's hard to coordinate these things with people and, and you know, people have to travel, but if you are coming to Edmonton, you hit me up, I mean, I've known you long enough, I, I'd grab four beers with you. All right, so. Okay, so I got one that was slightly more personal. He didn't want his name in there, so I'm just gonna leave it out. He asked, what was your childhood like? And uh, I had a pretty solid childhood. My parents actually opened up an A&W in the city that I live in when I was like two years old. So they were extremely busy. I actually lived with my grandma. Well, no, like I lived with my parents, but my grandma watched us, she lived with us. And so I spent a lot of time with my grandma, my brother and sister, and my parents, you know, for the most part was at night. Um, but my childhood was great. My parents never missed a Christmas concert, a hockey game, a skating practice for my sister. They were always there for us. And so my parents were very loving and they always have had my best interests at heart. You know, they, they're some of the, the best parents you could ever ask for. I'm telling you, I, I hit the, the jackpot with my parents. So I feel very lucky, but childhood was good. Were we the richest family? No, we weren't. I mean, early on, it's it was tough. I mean, they started up at this restaurant, they had to work. I, I'm not the kid that got a free fucking Cadillac in, in high school. I bought my own car. I, granted, I got a little discount from my parents, but um, I've had to buy my own things, work for my own things, and it's really taught you know me to be a, a better person. So growing up, I always had some pretty solid morals from my parents. I wasn't gifted and handed everything, and I think it's really helped me into the future. But overall, childhood was good. You know, I'm not super messed up and want to kill people or anything. <laughs> AJ Flight said, how old are you, your son and your girlfriend? I am 24. I just turned 24 in January. Um, my son is five years old. He's about five and a half. His birthday is in April. And my girlfriend is 24 as well. She's actually older than me. Cradle robber! And um, we're very much in love. So, yeah, that's us. At this point, unfortunately... For whatever reason, a lot of the messages weren't showing up anymore. I couldn't see what you guys were actually saying, so I, I think I failed. I think we should have just done the AMA on on maybe YouTube, but hey, we got some great questions, we had some good answers, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll do more of these down the road, maybe at 75,000 we'll do another one at 100,000, but until then, thank you so much for the continued support. I, I am truly blessed, and, and thank you just for being there. Even if you don't like Destiny, you're here for me, and that means a lot. I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.